name is Piccolina. I'm a water molecule. Now I'm cool, but if you only knew all that's happened to me, I've got to tell you. You see, it all started four billion years ago. I was in outer space, stuck in a big chunk of ice, a frozen meteorite. It seemed like forever. My ice cube had split from a comet and was racing through space. One day, we flew past a big bright star. Billions of asteroids were circling the star. Round and round for a long time, I orbited with them. Most of the other asteroids were combining with one another into big blocks of ice and rocks. Before long, they were the size of planets. In fact, they were planets. By then, fewer and fewer asteroids were hitting the planets, and the planets cooled down. The oldest planets were covered with ice and water. They must have been bombarded by tons of icy meteorites, just like mine. It had to happen. One of these big planets pulled us in. What a fall! In ice, we water molecules were stacked as if in a crystal without being able to move. They call us H2O. We're made of one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen. A little heat, the right pressure, And we are free to move in all directions. We become liquid water, the elixir of life. In my puddle, I met a lot of funny characters. Lots of H2Os like me, of course. But also many other molecules. Most of them made of carbon. It was like a parade. With simple molecules, like methane, and the famous CO2, and those made of carbon chains like the amino acids. What a surprise! Some were very complicated or extra long. They had formed on our planet or had come from space. Soon I began to see more and more extravagant molecules, some really fantastic. I thought that on this planet we would have lots of fun. One day, I came face to face with a giant molecular snake. A polymer made of dozens of molecules attached to each other. More and more molecular chains of great complexity came from a crack in the bottom of my pond. I got closer and closer to figure out what was happening. They were putting on a show. Molecules of the same family were assembling on crystals of clay. A little chemistry, and they found themselves chained into polymers. We H2Os entered the dance of their chemical reaction. Things had changed with the polymers. They could not stop splitting apart or pairing. Some polymers were even duplicating. Some of the most bizarre were the hydrophobes. They really detest us H2Os, so much so that they make bubbles as soon as they see us. But the hydrophobe dance is so beautiful when they make bubbles and membranes.
there were so many hydrophobes that it scared me. The bottom of the pond was coated with a kind of oily film as the gang of the hydrophobes spread all over. I wanted to get closer to them and scare them back. When suddenly, I found myself trapped inside a bubble of hydrophobes. Oh no! But I wasn't alone. All kinds of molecules were trapped with me. Amino acids, polymers, sugars. With time, I got used to my little cell. In fact, we had a great time. But as our bubble kept gobbling everything in sight, it started to feel really crowded. I have to say that the situation got worse when some big polymers started duplicating. I was just about to protest when I heard a loud noise. My cell had split in two. And that's how life began. It's been such a long time. I don't remember all the details. But scientists say it probably happened just like that. Billions of years have passed. Yes, I know, I haven't changed. But look around at what came out of my little bubble of hydrophobes. The amazing diversity of life. Isn't that neat? And believe me, evolution will continue.